the test of power where people would love to be powerful and they want to have authority so in order to gain a little bit of power they begin to worship the devil because the jail will instruct them to do that today you have the satanists you have the freemasons what do they do wallahi they worship iblis himself personally and what does he do for them in return he makes them feel the power they feel it and he can toss and turn people who are standing in front of them just because they have sacrificed for him so he gives them a power and they become powerful solid people strong they can control your mind because there is the life of the unseen that they have sacrificed for so they will murder people and spill blood in order to appease the devil so that they can become people who can control most of the singers 99 percent of the pop stars that you have out there belong to this category they all sacrifice doves backstage they all engage in satanic behavior they all belong to a cult and all of them are promoting immorality may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us their names are not fit to be mentioned in the house of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we know who they are and if you take a look at the way they clothe themselves they are sucking in our children and they are sucking in some of us in an unbelievable way and we still want to listen to all that music and play it in our cars not realizing this is with the assistance of iblis himself and he is controlling our minds and we appease ourselves by saying the lyrics are good na'udhu billah allah safeguard us those lyrics for your information are becoming dirtier and filthier and more satanic as days pass and we are still allowing it to go through our ears so imagine what will go through the ears of our children and they will say dad you're living in the 60s may allah safeguard us it's something to be worried about to be concerned we are in the month of ramadan we read surah al-kahf but sometimes we achieve nothing out of it because we don't even know what we are meant to be achieving out of it now let's go back to the surah the first story mentioned in the surah there are four stories in surah al-kahf first one mentioned is the people of the cave why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make mention of that story? They were tested with their religion and they did not give it up. They left community and society and they went away for 309 years. They were out locked and sealed in a cave as though they were bushmen or stone men or whatever you'd like to call them. But their religion was saved. They made a dua to Allah. Oh Allah, grant us savior, protect us from this negative environment, from these people who are trying to take our religion away from us.